Hello guys, it's Vuton here, and we're going to go ahead and just show you guys today and how to do um, a arrow scum clue with the uh, casket. I'm sorry, with the leak clues. Blah. I don't know what I'm thinking this morning. Anyway, um, the gist of this is, is actually you want to be somewhere that isn't Minifos because of this, or move your arrows somewhere else. I like it in the upper right hand corner, just because it's pretty well cleared out. Now, to the gist of this is you want to have an RDK4 and an LOTD for this, um, just because it's easier for the teleports. But all you have to do is right click your comfort or RD cloak, and then, um, actually you don't even need RD cloak 4, you just need 1, 2, and 3. The manor is kind of bad for this now. So you literally hover over it, press Alt, then 1, and then Alt 1 will automatically set the default location. Teleport to the location. And then instantly press this button. It'll pull an arrow. Now go ahead and click this. Show all own locations, which will show all the locations in red, which are the possible upon that line. Now right click your lock of the doors, and then press Alt One on that for Grand Exchange. You go to the Grand Exchange, and literally press the button here. And now I'll show you. So the probable locations are these two locations right here, which is right next to C K R. So we'll go ahead to CKR, and we will go ahead to CKR. So it's most likely one of either one of these two locations for the arrow. And rotate the camera. All right, so we're right on track. No, no, this will not point you directly to the square. It will point. That's the reason why we use these uh, right here. The known locations so that we have a rough estimate. Alright, so it's not this spot, it is a spot over here, which you have a rough estimate of where it actually is. Here we go. Let's see here. And right here it is. Right here at this location, you found the casket. So I'll be right back to guys give you another example on how to do this, but that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. All one is beautiful. So, ironically, we got another error right afterwards. So, I'll go over this process again in another example. Alt 1 on Kodarn Monastery, you want either the Arctic Cape again, in some way, shape, and form, teleport to the location, and press this right here. Now, note if you get, um, actually, we'll see if this happens. I'm trying to get this to happen here. Grand Exchange, literally here. Alright, so this one is a weirdo because of the way the arrows are going. But you can tell roughly it's in the um, Mortania region. So your best bet is just to use this. Okay, so now that you have this, you can hit that marker here. Like, click on where you're at on the map, and then you can hit here. So that eliminates all these other locations. So more than likely... The location is one of these two here, or this one right here, which is exactly what it's pointed to. So you can use it to put in more arrows and then narrow it down further. Where are you? Alright. So that's another um, use case example. Let's see if this is actually correct. This is actually correct. Alright, so we get another, okay, so we got another arrow here, literally go here, boom, I'm going to go full speed for this, hit the marker, instantly go to Alt-1 again, the Grand Exchange, hit the marker, it is right near Sears Village, so we'll go to Sears Village, it's one of those four spots more than likely, and it is in fact the spot right over here. Alt-1 is your friend, folks. You guys got to learn to use it, and then these become extremely fast. Like I said, I'd rather have this in a scan. As you see here, the arrow went directly in with the MeCat into the scroll. Hit clear marker to clear it so that you get rid of the extras. And then you literally am going to open this up. Alt-1. Card and Monastery. wish my keyboard showed the Alt key, but it doesn't. Alt one in the Grand Exchange. Uh, 
and literally we're looking again at here so we zoom in a little bit to the map we will teleport to Solar Keep 2 we will click the spot on the map to where we teleported to and then once we're there we'll hit it again zoom in and we are looking at near the ecto file I don't have an ecto file in this preset because it's kind of never really that great it's probably the one right near the farm right here so you can tell pretty much where you're going from there so you can stand anywhere in the map and make a marker by clicking on it and you can use that with this button up here to uh, map your arrow just knowing my luck I think it's in the farm uh, it's looking like it's in the farm Oh, it might not be in the farm. It's not in the farm. It's directly north of Ecto. Wow, okay. But as you see, it's in one of these red dots. So you could go through here. It should be right up here. And it's right here. Right as this indicates, and there's a casket. Is this a. Alright, we'll just do this real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's just for the shits of seeing what we get. A master. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, hopefully that was a bit of explanatory on how to do Alt-1 arrows, and um, if it, this was useful to you, go ahead and slap the subscribe button and uh, follow, comment, let me know if anything's wrong. I'm flipping between mics trying to figure out what's the best here, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it for arrows, so thank you guys very much for watching and have a wonderful day.